Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss how to use Power Apps Local Variable. Let me explain first of all what is Power Apps Local Variable. In Power Apps, we can create a context variable by using the update context function to pass the value within the screen. Power Apps context variable can hold different types of information like a single value, record, table, and object reference, etc. Except for the navigate function, context variables are limited to the context of a single screen only. You cannot set or use local variables in entire the Power Apps app. Once your app is closed, the context variables value will be lost and you must be reconnected when the app is loaded again. And update context function has no return value. You can use it only within a screen in the Power Apps app. Now we will discuss syntax of the local variable or update context variable. Here we can use update context function to create a context variable value. This function can use it to create or update context variables in Power Apps. Context variable is context variable name and value is can be assigned to the context variable. Now I will show you practically how to create a context variable and how to use context variable in Power Apps. For that open your Power Apps with your respective Microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a blank canvas of just click on the create button and select blank app. Here you can choose blank canvas of then click on the create button and provide the app name. Here you can see the format as by default a tablet format. You can also change phone format as well. Then click on the create button. Now insert a button control on the default screen. For that expand the insert tab. Here search the button and select the button control name. Rename the text to property of a button control. Change the button name. Now set its on select property like. We can use update context function. Text name is my variable name and welcome to Power Apps is my variable name value. Now insert a text label. Then set its text to property as variable name. Now once your app is ready just save and publish the app. Now go to the preview option. Click on the button control. The text label will display the value of local variable. I will explain calculate numbers in power apps using context variables. For that insert a another blank screen. Suppose I want to calculate like sum up two numbers like enter first value and enter second value in the Power Apps Canvas app. Then I can use context variable to get the result value. Now I will show you exactly how it will works. For that insert a text input control. and change the default value like similarly insert a another text input control and change the default property Now change the text input control names
then insert a button control change the button text now set its on select property here you can see result is my context variable name text number 1 and text number 2 are text input control names and here i am using plus symbol to sum of these two values next insert a text label Then set its text to property as variable name. Now save the app. Now go to the preview button. Here select the first value and second value. Next click on the button control. Here you can see the text label sum of these two values. Similarly, next I will show you how to manage Power Apps collection using context variables. For that insert a another blank screen. Then insert a text input control. and make it as default value blank similarly insert another text input control here also make it default value as blank next to change the text input control names Then insert a button control. Change the button text. Then set its on select property like here you can see I will use collect function to create a collection. This is my collection name collection expenditure and these are my text input control names. Now I want to display this collection on a gallery control for that insert a gallery control. And change the layout as title and subtitle and set its items property like collection name now go to the preview option here enter the name and select the price then click on the button control now I want to reset or clear the text input values after adding the records for that I have added another button control it is on select property like here you can see collection expenditure is my power apps collection name and these two are my text input control names once your app is ready just save and publish the app Now go to the preview button. Whenever the user wants to clear the text input values, click on the button control to reset the text input controls. Yes friends, this is all about how to use local variable or update context variable in Power Apps.
I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.